Hey, good morning. You know, what are the options uh, we should be considering as to what the motivation is for the border crisis that we see down south? Why have there been more than 5 million immigrants illegally crossing the border in the two years since Joe Biden took office? 800-859-0957. We'll take your calls in a moment. 800-859-0WJR. It's never happened before. I mean, that's one of the reasons for these hearings on Capitol Hill, Kevin, the House Judiciary Committee. The Republican chairman, Jim Jordan, says, listen, Joe Biden is doing this intentionally. But Democratic ranking member Jerry Nadler says, wait a second. By highlighting this so-called crisis, Republicans are actually being racist. That's what they were uh, getting at to yesterday, Kevin, on yes. Capitol Hill. Border Wars, Tom, a new C-SPAN reality TV show now playing all across America, starring Republican Jim Jordan and Democratic Jerry Nadler. Oh, boy, uh, what a sensational preview tease of a possible impeachment hearing for Homeland Security Director Alejandro Mayorkas. Uh, this show is going to deliver salacious allegations, controversial accusations, and real and feigned outrage over open borders. You're right. Jim Jordan said that this is an intentional, premeditated crisis. Uh, those are big allegations. But Jerry Nadler comes back and says... The MAGA GOP is racist for highlighting the migrant surge. The American people are watching. They're wondering if this is going to lead to real change or more drama with little relief for those impacted. Joining us now is Roshini Rashkumar, political analyst and host of the Crisis Files podcast. Good morning, Roshini. How are you? Good morning, Kevin and Tom. This is definitely a crisis, and it's not new right now. Our immigration situation in the United States has been a crisis for generations for multiple presidential administrations, and someone's got to stop passing the buck. The uh, American people believe it is a crisis. The polls, latest polls out are almost 70 percent believe it's a crisis and that something has to be done. I don't think Democrats can uh, turn away from this or ignore it any longer. How do you think these hearings play out with uh, Republicans uh, obviously starting out aggressively, but uh, what looked like accurately as well? Yeah, and I mean, you saw from yesterday's hearing that they continue to play politics. Both sides do, right? What I would love to see is someone, any of them, either party, not hurl what the other party is doing wrong when it comes to immigration and not reference the former president and maybe even not even reference the current president. Just let's talk about the laws and how they're being enforced and what the real numbers are. And the other thing, Kevin and Tom, that I noticed is terms are being really getting uh, wishy-washy, okay? They're being used interchangeably, but in the law, and I am a licensed attorney, in the law, there are specific definitions of terms, especially when we get into immigration law. So the definition of a refugee is someone who has resettled to the U.S. through the U.S. resettlement program. That is separate from asylum. So these are two different things, and sometimes these things get mixed together, meshed together, and really inaccurately portrayed. So we first got, have to get our terms correct, and we have to look at what are the laws on the books that are helping or hurting, and their lawmakers, they should be able to create laws that will then fix this situation. I think the American people would be fascinated and disappointed and upset by the pure facts and numbers uh, of what is happening at the border. But it seems like the political strategy is the same. You have Democrats saying Republicans are showboating. Uh, you have Democrats saying uh, this just shows the racist tendencies of pro-Trump Republicans. And you have Republicans saying this is intentional. Uh, this is premeditated. Does all of this noise um, is it intentional to just get uh, uh, the public to kind of feel like this is white noise and, and then they don't pay attention to the facts? Kevin, it's so intentional. I mean, whether it's because a specific politician has no idea what he or she is saying and they just want to create the headline and create that sort of coverage, it means they're not getting at the actual work of it. Now, let, let me just lay the groundwork here. I'm a naturalized citizen. citizen. My parents came to this country in the early 70s, and they came legally uh, on specific documentation. They came to have a better life here. My mother was a Montessori teacher. She came here to teach. That's where, why they came on her job. I came a little later. The Sri Lankan government wouldn't let me come with them immediately. But we all were naturalized in 1980. 
So we followed the process. So I guess I have a real hard time with this accusation of racism. I mean, that term has gotten so loaded in our country. There, it is a terrible thing if someone is racist, but that's not what's happening here. What's happening is we're trying to fix, hopefully, and this is what the Congress and the Senate should be doing, fix a problem that has been broken for so long. So I really get, actually personally feel assaulted when this term racism comes along, when what they should be trying to do is solve and enforce and make sure everyone who is in the United States is legally here, whether they're coming for a better life, they're coming to avoid persecution, they're doing it in a way that's legal and fair. Yeah, I, I think it should be an offense to those who have truly been victims of racism to overuse that term like they're doing yesterday. Um, you know, there's there's this other issue. Uh, it's related, obviously, but it was a separate separate effort yesterday by Congressman Andy Biggs. Um, he was also in this hearing as a member of the judiciary panel, but he, he introduced articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Uh, Mayorkas has denied there's a crisis. He says the border is secure and it's closed. When the world knows it's not, the world is coming over illegally. Is that enough, do you think, legally speaking, to be impeached by this Congress? Well, I mean, and this is another thing, Tom, I'm really getting, it's almost turning into a circus how much impeachment has come up in the last 10 years or so in our country. And I think we get into a really bad state of things and bad precedent setting if this is going to be a regular term used for members of any president's cabinet. Now, I think we all know that there's a problem. And if truly this uh, secretary of Biden's is turning a blind eye, that should be the president's responsibility to take him out of office or enough noise that the secretary himself just resigns. I, I just get a little nervous that the term impeachment gets out there. What they should be doing is showcasing the facts, as you two have laid out uh, as we started this segment, and focus on that. And then citizens demanding of our lawmakers that they do something about it. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. I think uh, the, the buck stops with the president. And Mayorkas is really just kind of a, a tentacle, really, of the president. He's a secretary of his. Yeah. Um, Republicans are equally upset, though, with Vice President Kamala Harris, who said she would find the root causes of illegal immigration. She put out there that she cares about uh, that illegal immigration is happening. She's going to get to the bottom of it, but she hasn't yet. Uh, what do you think the root cause is? Yeah, well, she hasn't yet. And remember how long it took her to even go and visit yeah. the border? I mean, that was a huge controversy initially. The root causes that we, all of us, we get into, I think, the both the drama and the emotion of someone really wanting to come into this country and have a better life. That's a very real thing, okay? And my parents came here to have a better life. They were doing well in Sri Lanka, but there was some political turmoil going. They weren't being persecuted like some people are who want to get into the United States, but they did want the American dream. And that's a very real thing. But generations far you know, longer ago than we are living set into motion laws and processes so that those who wanted to come into the country could come into the country legally. And I think what we have to also uncover, and this is what I would hope national journalists would really dig into, is this undercurrent and the workforce that is being allowed in illegally in some parts of our country for cheap labor. And this is a sad part of it. That in itself is a layer and a level of persecution. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think it's going to help everybody and human rights in general if we can just be transparent and fair and consistent in our laws and how we enforce them, Tom. Yeah, and enforce them. Enforce the ones that are on the books. We appreciate you as always. Roshini Rajkumar, political analyst and host of the Crisis Files podcast. Roshini, it's great to talk with you again. Thank you. Thanks, guys.